Hi, we're here at Stavgard Viking Village on Gotland together with Hanna Tunberg. Right? And today we're going to do something special, right? Yes, because Hanna is the co-author of An Earth Meal. And that is probably as close as you can get to a Viking Age cookbook. And today me and Big J are going to learn to cook something that will probably be, be as authentic as it gets to what a traveling Viking would eat. So come join us! Yeah, come on! A couple of years back, me and my friend Daniel wrote a book, a Viking Age cookbook. Got it here. Um, we started thinking about what people would have eaten during Viking times and uh, we uh, looked at uh, archaeological sources. We uh, are actually, we've been looking at what people ate, what we find in the digs, uh, both the uh, pottery and iron stuff and also uh, actual food stuff that you would find scrapings of in these kind of pots um, and also we've been working with seasons and who ate what where because during Viking Age uh, what you ate depended on the climate and where you were so this is actually a culinary journey throughout the Viking world from Lofoten in the north down to here to be in the south. So what is it that we will be cooking today? So we're going to make a very, very simple recipe uh, and out of ingredients that you could actually have in your backpack when traveling. Um, so uh, we're going to go, go do some kind of Gotland take on the uh, traveler's porridge and uh, we're going to make it out of things that you could actually have at this time of year and in this place. Sustainable. Yeah, it is kind of sustainable, really. Uh, you could think of it like that, but also it's just things that comes natural to this surrounding. Um, so we're going to start off with the base, and uh, this is actually wheat. Um, in other parts of Scandinavia, uh, you would maybe make this out of uh, um, out of barley, which is very, very uh, uh, common during Viking Age. But Gotland has kind of a, a, a special. Um, um, Probably climate for wheat or something like that, because what we find in the archaeological findings is quite a bit of wheat. So we're going to make it from wheat today. Uh, so that's the base. So we're going to add, of course, uh, Viking Age favorite, some butter, a lot of butter, really. Um, we have quite a substantial piece of meat as well, but we will not use a lot of it. We'll use just a small part of meat, because this is probably what meat we have left for the rest of the winter. But, on the other hand, something really, really important is, of course, cheese. Looks nice, doesn't it? No? Um, <laughs> you know, we talked about this, but... <laughs> what would you say, guys, about a cheese? When you open the fridge and you find a cheese looking like this, toss it? No, or? never, never. No. Uh, a cheese will never go toxic from the mold. So mold is just kind of part of the natural process of, of a cheese. So by this uh, time of year, a cheese would look like this. It's a bit moldy in the, uh, at the top. It's also dried, of course, it's a, a, a hard cheese. Uh, and this is full of fat and proteins and also by now uh, full of umami, the fifth uh, uh, taste, which actually gives us the... <sighs> This is good feeling. The, yes. the secret behind cheese. <laughs> the secret behind cheese. So, so the more we just chop it off. Uh, if we want to, we can also taste it and say, do we like it? Is it good or is it not good? Mm. So this one has uh, a cloth on and I'm 
the dot. It's not as moldy. No, it's not. It looks quite nice. Would you like to try it with a piece yeah, of paper? Sure. Yeah. See here? Yeah. Oh, it's really nice. <laughs> So, yeah, I'd rather eat it than spit it out. It's good. That's good. And I guess that at the, um, towards the end of the winter, um, beggars wouldn't be choosers. No. You would eat what you had. You wouldn't throw yeah. things away. No, no, definitely. So, these two are fl uh, kind of flavors, and this is the base, and we're also going to use some, um, some really nice herbs. Um, it sounds a bit off when you say it, but oregano and thyme are actually natural to Gotland. Oh, yeah. So they've been here all the time, so we can actually use it in, in cooking. It might taste a bit like Italy, but it's actually the flavors of Gotland. Yeah? Yeah. Well, Should we um, go on? Yeah, I guess it's almost boiling. What yeah, is almost I, oh, boiling? Yes, it is. So. It's definitely boiling by now. So, um, pour in the barley. Oh, wheat this time, but barley, barley would be correct in, in almost any other setting, but this time wheat. So, I don't want to lose the barley into the pot and then, then have to kind of uh, get it out by a spoon or something. So I'll put the barley on a cloth. So if you don't want to carry a sieve with you when you go hiking and want to cook like this, then you can use a oh, cloth. cloth. Yeah. Make sure um, it's just not like it's good fabric so it doesn't have any toxins. Yeah. That's any right. bad dye or something like that. Oh, yeah. But this is natural linen. It is. Yeah. You could, of course, make a fancy bag to boil it in. Uh, you could sew it together if you want to, or you can just put it in. If I can get a little. There you go. All right, so what's, uh, what, what are we going to make? So we're going to cut the meat, right? Yes, cut yeah. some meat and a bit of cheese as yes. well. Yes, and the yeah. meat here is from uh, actually from a local farm to where we live, where the animals uh, walk freely and, and have um, eaten the, the herbs and everything that's on the pasture, beside, which will actually give flavor to the meat by itself. So supposedly you're not, you're not, you're not going to have to uh, season it a lot, actually. And as you can see, this is a lovely meat with a lot of fat into it, uh, which is actually what we would prefer during winter time. Yeah. Mm. This is lovely. And it, yeah, it is. It is really mm. Mm. very good. Very good. And actually, this would be enough meat for three people. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, that's not a lot actually. <laughs> it's not a lot. No. no. So we're just going to cut this into small pieces. Uh, and this will be just like flavor into the food. Nice. Yep. So there we are. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, should we go on with uh, the, we cheese have the cheese? The cheese. Yeah, the cheese. Yeah. 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 I think that's great. And that um, was the lovely um, hard cheese that you opened earlier. But yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, it's still a bit of mold on, but mm. it doesn't really matter. So we're yeah. just gonna uh, take a good piece of cheese like that and chop it up. So there we are. It's the next flavor. And then we're gonna add some apples. Is yeah, that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. We're gonna add some apples as well. And these these apples, we actually. Uh, brought from our home. We, yeah. we picked them this fall, so there uh, we we stored them in a cold, dark, cool, dark place, uh, and they're lovely. They're the skin is lovely, crumpled, and but they're absolutely fantastic. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there's when when they look like this, when they're crumbled and and looks a bit worn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, they actually uh, have uh, produced so much sugars. All, 
all uh, of the acids are almost gone and there's a lot of sugars yeah. which would also enrich the flavors and and the food for us yeah because yes. of course it doesn't need to be said we did not have sugar at all during no. viking age no. we maybe had some honey but we did not produce honey in this part of the world so we had to import that yeah yeah <laughs> so a couple of bits of apples as well Ah, it's a lovely aroma in that. Much yeah. better than store, uh, store bought. Is it cooked? It's cooked. Just gonna try it first before I say something, but I think it's cooked. And how long was it? About 15 minutes? 15, 15, 20 maybe. That's it. Yeah, absolutely cooked. If we had added uh, salt and um, herbs or whatever into the water, then we would actually keep the water and, and make a soup for maybe late afternoon or something from it. So, here comes the lovely wheat. So now I'm going to actually throw out the water um, and special process. We are on Gotland. Hetvatten kommer! Akta! So, sorry about that. I had to warn off the, the little people because they get really offended if I pour hot water on them. So we need to shout out hot water, watch out, and then they move and I can pour the hot water. Hey. All right, time to... Phase two. Yeah. Phase yeah. two. Phase two. Uh, so the, uh, uh, the pot is now dry, no water in there. So I'll put in some butter. Not a lot of butter, right? A decent chunk. Ah, yeah, yeah, probably. Mm. Mm. I love it. I love this yes. smell. <laughs> I'm almost as excited as my belly about this. <laughs> <laughs> so, in goes the apples. And also the lamb. Yeah. Lamb? Yeah. Some smoked lamb. Into that as well. We uh, also need a bit of herbs, right? Yeah. Yeah, and that was the. That's the uh, oh, orega herb. oregano. Oregano. Uh, Kungsminta is called here in Swedish. So ah. king's mm. men. Ah. Yeah, mm. now you can. Smell. And also some thyme. And one thing that actually uh, um, uh, people get really excited about is the fennels. And they're also ah. uh, very early in our cuisine, so some fennel seed as well. I love fennel. So fennel seeds. And it actually smells absolutely wonderful. It does. So now and it just looks fantastic too. Cooking yep. apple meat. And the herbs. And, and the, the herbs. herbs. Yes. And the butter. Yes, in a in a chunk of butter, and now uh, in goes the uh, wheat. And this is basically just to uh, mix it and to yep. keep it warm. Keep it warm. Mix really, really nice. And of course, we need to put in the lovely, lovely mature cheese. So it melts a bit, right? Exactly. Everything is better with cheese. Everything is better with cheese. <laughs> so, there we are. All right. Oh, that looks fantastic. So, I think we should eat. 
Don't you? It's lunchtime, so everyone say cheese. <laughs> cheese. <laughs> believe that you, with so few ingredients, can make such a, a culinary meal. No, it's, use that word, culinary. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, this is so much better than, than you would actually imagine. And uh, it's so easy to cook. Mm -hmm. Anyone can do this, really. Well, thank there, you very much. Yeah. yeah. There's actually mm -hmm. no, no feeling that no... Um, dinner experience that has a feeling that beats this <laughs> you sit outside late winter yeah. and eat a freshly cooked meal still hot yeah from the fire it is excellent isn't it i just love my job sometimes <laughs>